Hello, Hello Floss, Floss Tube. We're, We're the, the Real Housewives of Crosstage. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Cash is playing. A lot of you complained that you didn't get to see him last week, so I will bring him in here at some point. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. This is take two because mom said dingleberry and I said it wasn't appropriate. <laughs> so she made me start over. <laughs> All right. Um, she called me that. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, school started back up. We had football games last weekend. Uh, they did really, really well. They lost, but they did really well. Mm -hmm. We had so much fun. Um, lots of stitching, doctor's appointments, all this stuff this week. We leave for Arkansas. Monday morning. Monday morning. So in two days. We're a little bit frazzled. We're just throwing We're stuff in suitcases. Yeah. Okay, so we I haven't even got the suitcase out yet. So. I did last night. I was <laughs> whipping it out of the crawl space. It's just, I gotta go! <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So real quick, that impression is from, um, if you ever have listened to Dane Cook, there's one about a monkey and a heist and the monkey is driving the van and he's like, get out of here. We got to go. You have no idea what I'm talking about, but maybe some one of you <laughs> that watch us will know what I'm talking about. All right. So questions from last week, Karen and Heidi, they both wanted to know, have you tried the ballpoint needles and do you like them? I haven't. I have, and I feel like they're a little bit longer than normal needles. Uh, the only reason I stopped using them was because my skin was breaking out, so I needed to switch to the uh, Pat Carson's because my skin doesn't break out with those, but I did really enjoy them. I wasn't like poking myself, which I tend to do using the sewing method. Angela, do you outline your cross stitch project? So I think she's talking about back stitching. Uh, she said stitching, she's stitching Christmas and they all showed to do the outlines. If it yeah, calls and, for it, yeah. yes. But like lots of stockings and things, you're outlining a lot. Um, but and most older cross stitch was back stitch. Mm -hmm. Everything was back stitch. But yeah. now they, there's like little things that are back stitch. And I can show you in a project we both did this week where there was a tiny bit of back stitching in the square dance. Oh, there was. Yeah, the legs. Oh, did I do? Yes, on the chickens. <laughs> I would hope so. I would hope you gave the chickens legs. They may be fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Christine, advice please. I stitched an item that's shaped like a kite. What shape would you mount it? A uh, circle or a square? Square. Kite. Hmm. Either one. It just depends on what, what you want to else finish you're going to do it with and what you want to finish yes. it with. Is what you would say. Janelle, can you do No, a... I mean like fabric or ruffles <laughs> or, oh. you know, sticky board or whatever. I would lay it all out on both pieces and see okay and if you don't have both pieces you can take your cross stitch to the store which i do a lot and just, just lay it on there janelle wanted to know can you do a tutorial on attaching a piece to sticky board we we did yeah uh it's probably There's a couple of order shops uh if you well, look... no we have one too uh the where i did the round um whirly gigs okay and then on fat quarter you can see another one as well so fat quarter um if you go to my blog, like two blog posts ago, I did the whirly gig that I'm going to show you in a couple minutes, and I linked that video on there. So okay, easy that's the round one, yeah. Perfect. Laura, can you use Goo Gone on your tonic trimmer? She probably could have, Laura, but she just bought a new one. So <laughs> yes, and I added them to the Amazon shop. So if you want a tonic trimmer, they're in the anima yeah. an an Amazon. Anima. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, Arkansas, we're ready. <laughs> yeah, we're, that's where it came from. Um, okay, so in our Amazon shop, which is listed below, you can see the trimmer that she used. She bought one, liked it, but it wasn't. Okay, so that other one. Her. No, it wasn't that. It's that it doesn't have that piece that folds down, that plastic piece that folds down over the sticky board, so that when you cut it, it stays in place. But that other one does cut better than the tonic. Oh. So the blade is sharper. So on you one. either have a straight <laughs> cut, with, or you have to like mm -mm, with the <laughs> That's how you do it on that one. Or you have a not exactly even on mm -hmm. the the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you could be like perfect at doing it and get perfect cuts out of both of them. But kind of just can't. Mm -hmm. We just can't be perfect. <laughs> That's not in our. <laughs> wet realm of possibilities so girly did you use the called for colors on cinnamon stars so a lot of questions on cinnamon stars this week a lot of people this is one of the giveaways from last week and so many people were like i want that can you get it or is it is it lodged in all right so this is cinnamon stars 
So when I stitched this, I was not using very much fancy floss, but I looked at the chart and everything that I thought was big enough to show the variegated floss, I bought. And then the rest I used DMC. Uh, so definitely that middle part, and that is uh, Weeks Dye Works. I don't remember the color, but it's the called for. But you and the roof. You use a lot of different colors in this, so that's right why for these like little stars. There's like three, four, five different colors, mm -hmm. but they're little tiny. You can't see variegation, anyways. Um, so if you're on a budget, <clears throat> look at it and see where where you would see the most variegation, and buy those, and then substitute some DMC. This it's one of my favorite pieces, and this is a frame she got at Hobby Lobby. So yep. just one of those pre-made frames you know, in the back of the store mm -hmm. on sticky board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Next up. Yeah. It looks naked back there without it. It's <laughs> good. Next, uh, Deborah, do you have, <laughs> do you have a craft room in your basement or just store your finishes there? I don't store my finishes there. I do have a few wreaths hung up that have cross stitch in them that hang on the wall, but my finishes are in cabinets in the family room and cabinet in a cabinet in the hallway. And then in underbed boxes, like my Halloween, fall, Christmas are all in underbed boxes under my bed. She has and then, a craft dungeon. She had <laughs> like, you go downstairs and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> crafts. Um, so yes. There's no organization. She's one of those like creators where it needs to be messy in order for her to create. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it is a mess. <laughs> All right. I, so I, was giving you some credit. I was giving you some credit. I so did. instead of packing, you were down there cleaning the basement. Yeah, well, that sounds like a miss. I need room to do things. <laughs> All right. Kathy, don't your ducks eat the snails? I think you were talking about um, not the snails, but my tomato hornworms. And no, the tomato hornworms are all like way high up. My tomatoes are like nine feet tall now. So <laughs> no. Um, but this week, one of my chickens decided to eat the tomato hornworm. Rip. Um, Gertrude came in and just ate it up. Anyways, enough about that. <laughs> Melody, I don't have Facebook. How do I find out about retreats? You would probably have to get Facebook to all the a lot of them that, that we we've do. done have that's how they started them. So a lot of stores put on retreats too. So if you have any local stores that you could contact, they do retreats as well. Terry, do you finish uh, stitching for other stitchers? Um, just Me? my daughter. You didn't then... know who I was for a minute. Just my Dingleberry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kimberly and Denise at Fat Quarter. I finished for them too. But not. It's a lot of not pressure. Like, not yeah. Not right, a business. No, no it's mm -mm. pressure. Mm -mm. Uh, speak of the devil. Um, okay, so home mom, any Disney trip plans for upcoming holidays? <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Janet, how was Chelsea as a baby? Oh, she was bad. Needy. Yes. Oh. I was needy. I was really needy. You could not put her down. Cash is kind of that same way. Um, and uh, I had a pacifier until I was like 12. Um, but I only liked one brand of pacifier and then they discontinued it. And my grandpa didn't want me having the pacifier. So he would throw it away and she'd have to go searching through the garbage to pull out my passy. Which I find funny because now she's all on me about Cash mm -hmm. having a pacifier. Yeah, well, he you had to have braces straight. twice, and yes, mm -hmm. and they're still not straight. Uh, hello to all those people who watch us on the TV, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> all right, um, because I didn't wear my retainers. If you're a child watching this, wear the stupid retainers, okay? <laughs> Save your parents a lot of money. <laughs> Debbie, where do you get your rusty jingle balls, the pumpkin ones? I ordered them from someplace, but I tried <laughs> to get some to take to the retreat, and they were out of stock. So. Okay. Candy, can you help me find a chart for a conversion from DMC to classic color works? What is Google it? that. Yeah, just Google that but, phrase and it should pop up. But, but, but. all, like the, all the colors but. are not listed. So yeah, if they've come out with new colors or there's, there's not a good goodness. conversion. And again, those colors aren't going to be the same because classic color works is a hand dyed thread. So 
your color ways are going to be a little bit different. So sometimes I will take the DMC and I'll go and look at it on the website. And I know that the colors can be different, but it's close enough that you can figure, figure it out. out. Yeah. I know that Classic Color Works has a website that you can look at. So Okay. Our Wandering Footprints, uh, where and when is the retreat in Arkansas and do they do it annually? It's next week. Our, there's two retreats. We were teaching a class at both. So Don't it just means not to text me while right, doing a video. <laughs> if you guys can't hear that, her phone is back there quacking. Um, oh, an outstanding no, do not wash your pre-cuts. Do not wash the jelly rolls. Don't wash the fabric. Just wash yardage if you're going to be into that kind of thing. Don't wash the jelly rolls. I heard it's just like a tangled mess, and I can see that yes. happening to Can us. you just imagine? No, I can't. <laughs> no. Um, but, uh, yes, they do them annually. Um, and they also do a spring around one. the world. This yes. year they're going to Italy, and I'm like, yeah. oh. And we're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> Never us. Um, but yes, they are on Facebook. So if you don't have Facebook, again, it might be just a good way. You don't have to have friends on Facebook. Just go to like pages. So you could go like our stitching page or go like uh, the Leela May right. Designs. That's who's putting on this the retreat. We can tell you more about it. We'll be uh, doing our video next week from the, yes. the retreat. So again, it'll be a hotel kind of-esque theme next week cabin theme hopefully there's good lighting oh, maybe we can do it outside if it's nice oh that'd be nice mm -hmm. yeah, maybe i feel like the baby would be screaming all right so that's the questions for this week a little bit of housekeeping letting you know what we're going to be doing next week um yes we're gonna try so if you're not on facebook you should get on facebook because we're gonna try to do some videos and pictures and everything Instagram and put too. them on my Facebook page and also Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do, I'll, I don't know if I'll do live. Live is really hard for me to do. You know, we can do it. I just feel so just conscious. Fun. You know, what if you say dingleberry in a live video and then we got it. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, you said it three times since we started. So. <laughs> just because you made me restart because I called you out for because it. Because you said that that was not appropriate. No, I should be more appropriate. And so I said, we need to restart. Then you you should be more times. <laughs> okay. Welcome to our show if you're just joining us. <laughs> so for, fe for <laughs> the previous finishes. I didn't sleep again last night. I was awake at 3.30. And then at 4, I just... Like got up. The baby slept all night last night, so I got a glorious like four hours of sleep, and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I'm on top of the world. I, I don't know if I'm just getting frazzled for Monday or what, but anyway, this is from Country Cottage Needleworks, and it's Happy Fall, y'all. And I finished it on one of my old and crusty muffin tins, and it sits on the shelf in my kitchen. And I added some picks, and I don't know if this was the first one I did on the muffin tin, or was the... No, the home was. Uh, so you can see three change-outs on this. The sure? Love Makes Santa? a House a Home, and then the Santa's by her as well. And mm -hmm. then there's also the spring one, so four. Right, four. Four finishes. Right. Um, by Country Cottage Needleworks. They look like long, skinny pieces, but they're actually short and yes, skinny. and this they're is really a magnet, to do. so it just slaps on there. Oh my goodness. Always big ones. And this is Sunflower Manor, the chalk for the home. I love this one. And remember last week somebody asked if I had ever dyed the fabric for this one is the one that I dyed. Okay. So this is, you get both pieces in the chart and it's Sunflower Manor. And this was a frame with chicken wire that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then Chelsea's husband cut me molding so molding. we had trim because it was just plain brown and then I thought well I could just paint it but then it wasn't fancy enough for me so he added all the trim and then this piece of trim in the middle yep so I love this miter saw came in handy for something you want to show your finish my finish Right You're not doing any of those? Yeah, okay. I'm going to do I'm going to do them as soon as... Um, so this was... Oh, I forgot the magazine. This is from the Halloween edition Cro Just Cross Stitch magazine. Home Sweet Haunted Home. You saw me stitching it last week. It is uh, finished in the this... Uh, what are they called? Tobacco basket. Tobacco basket from Walmart. Mm -hmm. The original one has like a wood little 
home sign right in the middle or something it says home sweet home home sweet home so oh. and then i added some candy corn garlands uh painted i painted them with that Lori Holt chalk paint the ghost yeah and then a plaid bow up at the top and you it's drew so cute oh no that's holes on it mm -hmm. okay and this was done on um tea coffee dyed gray i think that dye. that's the color that i'm going to use for that holiday hoopla which yeah, I was thinking about that too. Or I have that bluish. I'm one. just not into the green. I, no, I am. Okay, next. Okay, so I finished a couple of things this week. First of all, I finished the last of my Jolly July ornaments that are done. And this was from, and you saw Chelsea's last week of the same thing, but it, <coughs> you stitched yours on brown. Sorry, excuse me. And I did mine on blue. Yeah. Okay. This is from Heart and Hand Cheer, Christmas, Christmas Cheer. Cheer. It's the first one. There's three of these little booklets and they have just a bunch of ornaments in them and they're so cute. So obviously not the called for colors. It's pink and aquas. And so she changed it to her colors, which is red and green. Mm -hmm. So I used a couple of different pieces of flannel. I did a buffalo check one and then this, this plaid white with the red and the black and then a black check bow, some greenery, and then a covered button in the buffalo check. This is September Square Dance. Oh, those weren't my beads for that. Maybe it was. Yeah, it was. I just put them in there. Oh. Chelsea found my little bag of buttons. <laughs> so, I I don't know if I use the copper colors. No. No. Because there's weak style work, so it was called for in there. Okay. So I didn't use a call for But colors. there's black but, coffee, red licorice. Um, licorice red. Sorry. Muddy puddle, I think, was the other one. Yeah. Snowball, ye old gold. Did you use ye old gold? No, I used queen bee. So did I. And your legs. And bamboo. Okay. And bamboo. And then this is that canister that I got at Hobby Lobby. And all of them fit in there. And then they're inside, so I would think that I'll be able to fit them all. And it's a little wooden barn that I put for the top. So now I need to find this canister or something similar. Mm -hmm. I love the storage option in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is uh, the latest square dance from uh, Heart and Hand. And this will be on my blog this week. I just haven't had a chance to do it. July, August, September. She's in the process now of uploading some stuff so it publishes while we're gone. So you guys still have content on there. This is Autumn Whirly Gig, another heart and hand. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is on a trivet. <clears throat> so this was the item that we finished for the Fat Quarter Shop, but we did the summer one. Yep, this one used batting, so you can see it's a little puffier. This is... Mm -hmm. I like that blue. What blue is that? Blue corn. Ooh. So this is already on my blog with my color changes, and I did the sunflower in yellow instead, and... Like the middle of the squirrel was called for red. I did uh, orange. Yeah, fallen leaves, I think, or colonial yes. copper, one or the other. And then I added like the little um, things around the blue were supposed to be a cream color, but I, or a tan, and I added them in orange so it looked kind of like bittersweet. But I love the colors. I think it turned out so cute. And, and what color did you do the squirrel? He looks lighter. You can see that the magnet is there, and then I added a piece of um, sheet metal. Yes, and this one has glue on the back because it belonged to something else, and I did put it on there the wrong side. So, yeah, it still sticks. Mm -hmm. Okay, what color did you use for the squirrel? Because he looks lighter. Um, either sticks and twigs or hickory sticks. Okay, but it's on my blog, and I changed the colors of the acorns. Oh, it calls for sticks and twigs. Okay, so maybe I did use that. I don't know. I don't remember. I love it. We love it. All right. I got to stitch mine. So I think that that's all my finishes, right? I have another one that I can't show you because it's got part of the new. All right. Anyways, moving on. Farmhouse uh, chalk in it. <clears throat> this is uh, Farm Life by, I'm moving on to my whips if you're new here. Uh, this is Farm Life by Little House Needleworks. I was able to get some more greenery done. I'm slow going on this. This is in a dot dot goose bag. Mm -hmm. My farming one. Uh, I worked, well, I finished this. This is. Yeah, your chicken bag from last week. Yes. Oh. 
Love Heart this. and Hand again, the September. And listen, I messed up. The chicken's legs weren't going to happen on this one, so I'm just making it known. So I just put her sitting in a nesting box in some hay straw. What happened to it? Her, I was off on one of her stitches, so. Yeah, I, I didn't do the border in red either. I right, didn't started buy. to do it, but then I thought, mm, I don't do too much red in this month, so. So that's done, quick, 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 quick finish. Two days. I was in the car a lot waiting for stores to open and stuff. Like that. Mine took a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a baby. I don't? What's well, Ronnie? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the boo jar. Almost done. I have to get this finished. <laughs> it's texting saying I have to finish this tonight. And I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um this one I got pretty far on. This is Halloween Jardin by Jardin, Jardin Privé. It's really cute. <coughs> I'm going to steal some, um, I think it's called hazelnut from Mom's stash today to finish this. Because everything I have left is just hazelnut. This is Honey Bee Sampling by Little House Needleworks. And then I will be done. He's just realizing he's not in the video. <laughs> I'm here! And then, um... What is this one called? Happy... Happy Harvest by Little House or by Country Cottage Needlework. Sorry. When I was mowing the lawn yesterday, I was thinking about this chart, and I was wondering if I could change them to pumpkins. What? Or are there pumpkins on the mound? Those are yeah. pumpkins on yes. the mound. What were you thinking about? Oh yeah, I was thinking it was apples. No, no. So it's good. I could do that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking about that when I was mowing the lawn, but. <laughs> deal with. <laughs> I'm just going to show you this little piece of haul. Look at this. That's cute. Where'd mm -hmm. you get it? Amazon. Oh. This is in our Amazon shop and I put a, a whole bunch of other really cute fall pillows in there. Oh, is it, with the tonic is it a set or a single? That's a single. Okay. But I bought That's two. cute. Yep. That's cute. Mm -hmm. So this was one of my Stitch Mania starts. And I only got a little bit more done on it. This morning, I spent like an hour going through all my things to see what I'm bringing with me to go for six days. Because I'm going to need a lot. So, this is making the trip. You know you're going to be helping me take care of a baby, right? So your stitching time is going to be very limited. We also found you, out that we don't, sit, other women. <laughs> we don't sit next to each other on the plane. So... <laughs> Sorry, for, Sorry you. <laughs> for the person next to us. This is the cold red barn. The pity party sale. I finished oh, the barn. Oh, you finished the barn. Mm -hmm. That's a big barn. Mm -hmm. This is done on that fabric, fa fabric flare whitewash board. We got it at the Fat Quarter Shop, and I love it. I can't wait to get this done. And like I said, I'm not doing the people. I'm going to try to put some chickens in there and some more sunflowers. So, Do you need my chickens to come over to be models for you? I might. I was thinking about dressing Ronnie up in a chicken costume and making her run around the yard. But... <laughs> Did I finish this this week? Yes. You, or was this last week? No, you finished this week. This is Jack Frost Tree Farm. Woohoo! Little House Needleworks. I can't believe I had to finish that. I didn't finish, finish. Hmm. So, you were too busy cleaning the base. <laughs> <laughs> the middle one is the one that I just finished. Um, there's, what, three, six, seven charts in the series, but I only did four. I did the two trucks and then the sled. There was, um, what were the other ones? Like a family around a Christmas tree and then like a cocoa and a cookie shop. I'm just going to use those for ornaments. 
because I wanted it this size and do you know how you're finishing it absolutely oh okay I didn't know <laughs> if this was one of the ones you had to go and slap them on at the store mm -hmm. do you have something old and crusty and mm -hmm. that's in her Lila May bag so after I finished that for Santa Sunday and Merry Monday I worked on the eighth chart in the Glitter Village. And I got the top done and then the roof. These don't take that long, so I should be able to finish that this week. Also, as a recap, she's not using the glitter thread. She's using um, tea, and biscuits. tea and Biscuits by Classic Color Works in those areas. This is really pretty. And I do definitely know how I'm finishing this. And then for Witchy Wednesday, <coughs> they're sweet and broomsticks. I got the basket done and then the leaves around the basket. So pretty much, and the crow and her broom. So pretty much all I have left to do is pumpkins. So I should be able to finish that this week too. And I did, I knew what I'm doing with this one too, so. How about but, mine? Do you know what you're doing with any of mine that I'm? <laughs> no. I've got like six or seven finished that she hasn't finished yet, so it'll be a finishing Kalooza when we get back. Six or seven? Mm-hmm. Maybe four or five. Our floss is back in stock. Our floss pack is back in stock at We've been the back quarter shop. So when... I do my things for Stitch Mania. This is probably, this has all the floss in it from the start. But when I do my things for Stitch Mania, I only have like one or two flosses in them. So this morning I'm like running around trying to figure out what flosses I'm going to use. So this, I have two of these because I took one of the floss out because I keep one on the table to show you. So I put that one in my bag and then I'm going to have all those colors that That's I you. use all yeah. the time. So that'll be easy to travel yes. with. Yes. So this one in my bag. And I'm ready to go. I have like 30 whips in there that I have to decide what's going, but. Are you seriously bringing that many? I'm probably We've already talked time. about luggage and she's mentioned bungee cords and things like that to like strap me <laughs> to the <laughs> luggage so she could wheel me through the airport. I don't know how it's going to work out. We're not good travelers. We're just very nervous. No, and not only that, but I should have packed up all the supplies that we're going to need to finish the things down there. Yeah, and sent them and in send a box. Them. I also wanted to send diapers and stuff through Amazon, so I'm going to try to do that today to see when they'll get there. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for Monday. If you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. For the saga. Yeah. <laughs> just saga. <laughs> Trying to figure out babysitters for my kids and everything. I'm just, oh, I'm just itchy. All right, next. Me too. Ronnie. Next. This yes. new, yes. So new at Fat Quarter Shop, they sent us this stuff. So we wanted to show them. Uh, this is Enjoy the Journey. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these charts that she's showing you today with us, and we'll give them away next week when we're at the retreat. It'll be next week's giveaways for our video next week. Yes. Just a heads up for this week's giveaways, you yeah, won't receive you won't them, them because we're going to be traveling. So you'll receive them the following week. Mm -hmm. So we'll email you back. We'll let you know, but you won't yes. receive them. This and everybody's week. things have gone out. So, all right, this is uh, by Flamingo Toes, but that's really pretty. This is Autumn Time by Abby Rose Designs. You dropped him. <clears throat> One of my favorites. Mm -hmm. This is the Wee Santa of 2019. Isn't he so cute? From heart and hand. It's so cute. Thankful Hearts. Another Abby, Abby Rose. Rose. That's a beautiful border. And then another Flamingo Toes. This is Happy Camper. So thank you, Fat Quarter Shop, for providing us with these charts that we can give away next week. All right. Those have to go in the suitcase. Just them to know where they go. And then we got, uh, I'll do my haul because you already did your haul. I ordered from Fat Florida. And we should show these too. Okay. Um, I got some more <laughs> shirts, so I'm fully <laughs> equipped. I don't have to bring regular clothes to the, unless. Yes, that's what you were saying. I want to bring cute things to wear. 
wearing? I'm like, no, I'm just bringing <laughs> these shirts because every day I can just get up and put a new shirt on. We haven't decided if we're wearing pants there. We just might bring the shirts. Just, <laughs> just kidding. I'm wearing pants. <laughs> um, and then for oh my <laughs> mom's adventurous uh, quilting outlook, this is called All American. And I want us to make a out of the early bird right? mm -hmm. early bird fabric, fabric the chicken fabric um i think this would be amazing i was looking this morning for how much it costs to have a quilt long armed and that won't be happening but <laughs> oh we're gonna you're gonna you're gonna short arm it Just... yeah we're gonna have to figure out how to do it i need to buy a walking foot. maybe we could do these as quilt as you go yeah but you still we'll gotta quilt it. quilt it it's hard. I know. We can do it. <laughs> All right, that was my haul. Oh, I got. Uh, nah. All right, and then at, no, so, show them these before you start that stuff. Oh my gosh. So for in the ultimate beginner quilt, that's the week six. We can't show them. We, we can show them because we won't be here next week. Okay. All right. So this is so the first week. Last Saturday after the video, we did three quilt box. quilt box we messed up on this one because we turned them the wrong way but it's still the same thing but you're supposed to have them like inverted mm -hmm. but we liked it like this yeah we didn't mess up we chose <laughs> to do it do you think anybody will notice? No. no just do it <laughs> and then this one i think that's called a nine patch right mm -hmm. this is a picture window maybe yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay and then this is the is that this week's and then this is yeah. What this is, is this called? Five. Hourglasses? Yes. This is the, it is? Yeah. But I think it goes like this. Oh. See how they oh. look like hourglasses? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. But yep. we actually did it. it, and it wasn't hard. Yep. I see it. Oh, but if you did it this way, these are the hourglasses. Yep. And then this is week six, because we won't take these with you, with us to show you. This is, um, what is this called? Lattice? Uh, X marks to the spot. Lattice. Yep. Mm -hmm. X. But this will be on my blog next Thursday, so... I thought they come out on Wednesdays. No, Thursday. Well, they might come out on Wednesday, but it goes on my blog on Thursday. <laughs> really on top of things. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm on top of things. I got it done. Right, can I show this box? Now? Absolutely. I'm just looking at my list. It's not on a paper plate today. So this is from... No, I found it when I cleaned out under the cabinet underneath the TV mm -hmm. in there. I found it. You got into something you wasn't amused, baby. I think it's one of those chickens by the oh, TV. Thank you. Okay. Or the kids knock I, the chicken but, off the table. But there's no um name. Okay, there is no name in this. They sent us a card. Oh. <coughs> they want to be anonymous? Maybe. Um, okay. They sent us this beautiful orange uh, 28 Joblin. I didn't know that they did like hand dyed fabrics like that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hand dyed Jolene. And then look at this. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Well, we got another one she's going to have to do. Look at that. Look how cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Too hard. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, the Cricut Collection. Is this the one that, that um, Tech Stylist tagged us in last week? Probably. <laughs> Saying we could do it. No, yeah. that was applique. That's not applique. Oh. She told us we could applique and then she'd do it for us. Thank you. To whoever you are, we appreciate it right. very much. If you don't want to be anonymous and you want us to mention you, let us know. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to send you a thank you card. Yes. yes. There's no address on there? Um. Yes, but there's no name. Okay. Well, we can send a thank you card then. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, those are her husband makes them. Mm -hmm. This is from Leah. A beautiful card. And she said the snowman is for me and the Santa is for you. I hate when you guys designate them because she gets all like, oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> These her husband makes, correct? Yes. They're, They're hand carved. carved. Yes. They're, They're beautiful. Amazing. They're wood hand yes. carved. And painted so nicely. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're fabulous. I don't know. Does she have? A, does she say that he has a shop? That's what. I, no. Basswood. Okay. If your husband has a shop, let he us just know. does this as a hobby. Okay. He well, makes all her frames too for her cross stitch. Okay, so if he wants to sell these, let us know, and we'll <clears throat> link him. Link him. 
They're beautiful, though. Thank you. And thank your husband, please, for making those. And Chelsea's going to leave hers here so that... <laughs> She's not leaving it here. I'm going to go slap my Christmas tree up today just to put it on there. Um, this was from Anne. I've got a tickle in my throat and it will not go away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said this is a beautiful card. And then she sent us, uh, she doesn't do Halloween, so she sent us the Chalk Full kit because she's a member of the Chalk Full Club from Fat Quarter Shop. Mm -hmm. So it comes with the Ada to do it. It comes with all the floss, and then it comes with the chart back here. Uh, so she sent this to us as uh, to give as a giveaway. So we'll be doing that. I'll give it next week, too. Oh, can you okay, write, so next week. write Chalk Full on the, that envelope so we can thank her? So look for that next week in the giveaway. All right, and then is all this? Yes, that's from Linda. Linda, right? Okay. I've always liked this chart. Wait, okay, let's show the card first. We're not having a conversation with this. <laughs> this is Linda, and she uh, she won a giveaway, and so she wanted to send us something, and we so appreciate it. So mm -hmm. this is from Ice Boating, right? Is that what it's called, Ice Boating? Isn't it a pretty scene, though? Yes. They're skaters, right? Yes. I think that's why I've always wanted it. And then a shepherd's bush. No, there's no skaters. No? Oh, maybe out here. Yes. And then... Adorable. Yep. She went Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Look at this, where you could put your flowers in it. It's cute. And then two frames. And some pom poms. Mm -hmm. And there were more no, right pom poms, sorry. Red, white, and blue. Yep. Thank awesome. you so much, Linda. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, I'm gonna put, put it all back, back so we can send the thank you note. Okay. All right, and for, we're gonna do last week's stuff right now. Right? No, there's more stuff underneath that. Oh. We really need like a a boxer picker up our boy. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we got some more cards. I need to put one just in here. A thank you card. From Jane. Ooh, this looks handmade. Yes. Oh, oh, it's really done. This is from Julie. Look at how cute that fabric is. It stain. That's um, not it's, it's, it's paper. It's very cute. Just so y'all know, we save all the cards. We have a box mm -hmm. that yeah. they all go in. This is from Cheryl. Yes, we Cheryl met her at works Fat for the Fat Quarter Shop, and she sent us the nicest card about Patrick and we totally appreciate it and thank you so much Cheryl we hope we get to see you again and then uh, this is from Roxanne and she sent us a kit of um, the little house needle works long may she wave we love this one with the classic color works <coughs> And then uh, this is my country, another with the fabric and with the floss to use as giveaways. So thank you so much. And she sent us envelopes, envelopes to be able to send your giveaways out in. So how nice was that? Thank you so much, Roxanne. So we won't give these two away next week, but we'll do them the following week. Okay, so I'm going to put them back here so I can write thank you. All right, now this week's. We'll, we're going to do the giveaways? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Not this week. All right. Do you have... Where are the giveaways? I think they're underneath. Oh. <clears throat> right here. All right. So for the giveaways, we had a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten. All right. So um, the first three... We're all uh, the boo. 
The Boo Club. Boo Club, no. Sorry. The Boo <laughs> Chalkboard. <laughs> My Chalkboard to Cross Stitch collaboration with Hands On Design. Yes, courtesy of Hands On Design. And she says that I can't talk. <laughs> All right. So the first one goes to Jane Wood. Second one goes to Laura Trimmer. And the third one goes to Heather Wurzberger. So congratulations. All right. Next up we have um, Holiday Hoopla. Holiday Hoopla. With a needle and thread. Absolutely love this one. And this was a gift from one of our viewers last week. She sent it because she had duplicates. This goes to uh, Laura Tyler. Congratulations. Again, my spiel, when you win, email us. Email address is listed in the description box below. Email us the number and what you won so we can keep track of it. Uh, if you don't hear from us within 24 hours, make sure you repeat that email. You're not bothering us. Sometimes Gmail is funky. Number three was two charts of the Farmhouse Christmas. You're getting Grandpa's Quilt and you're getting um, the Cock-a-doodle-doo. Hi, Hunter. Uh, number three goes to Evelyn one zero two three five five. Yeah, woo! Evelyn, <coughs> party here. Mm -hmm. Number four was the long-awaited Cinnamon Stars. So Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. This goes to Linda Mel's. <coughs> Linda. <laughs> oh my God, I'm leaving. <laughs> Here's the baby. <laughs> all right, and then we had all of these. Tammy or Terry? Tammy. Terry, I think. No, I think it's Tammy. All right, and the first one goes to Linda Mel's. I messed that up. Rewind. Number four, Cinnamon Stars, goes to Melita Darst. Oh, I'm so busy worrying about him cheering. Melita, you have won this one. Sorry, Linda. Melita, you won that one. All right, the first bucket goes to Linda Mels. Congratulations. Oh I'm confused. The second bucket goes to Sharon Ashley. The third bucket goes to Betsy Brown. And the fourth bucket is courtesy of uh, LaDonna. Mm -hmm. She's from Sampling of Memory. She's also putting on the retreat. She in Virginia. Yes, retreat in Virginia. In she, April. And plus you get the three, I don't want to open this because they're all in Scissor here. Scissor fob. Um, thread teeth and needle minder. Right. So you get all these. And the bucket courtesy of her. And that goes to Penny Harrison. So congratulations. Sorry, Melita and Linda. I was just trying to make sure you were awake this morning and following <laughs> along with us. Gosh. All right. I'm for, glad it's not me. For this week. Yeah, you can put it in the comments. <laughs> All right. This, this is this week's? Mm -hmm. All right. But just two of those, remember? Where's the, the little one? Okay. This is what's being given away. Yes. Okay. So the first two charts are courtesy of Fat Quarter Shop, and then the the two kits that we're going to give away are from the Shepherd's Needle in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, so the first giveaway, so again, you're going to put numbers one, two, three, or four. There's four giveaways this week. You will not receive them next week. We will not be out of town. Well, they won't. Right. Never mind. You'll receive them the following <laughs> week. Uh, so the first one is... A uh, bird in the bird in the hand autumn. I knew that, but then I second guessed myself. And this is a heart in hand. Yes, and they're small, so. The second one is Happy Camper by Lori Holt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that like that. And then these were the kits from the Stitch Shop Shepherd's Needle, and they put these together. They paint the slides and everything. They're Sue Hillis designs. Um, so the the third one is this. They're both the same. Oh. And then number four. Right? Are they both the same? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so four so giveaways. You get today. the whole kit to make how many sleds are in there? <coughs> six or six. eight? Six. Six. Mm -hmm. Six sleds with And the perforated paper. Right. But no floss, right? So right. You'll need to get floss and that's the it. starts, the sleds and the perforated paper are in there. Do you want to keep them busy while I go get cash? <laughs> So follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea three five six Priscilla's two thousand on Facebook and Priscilla's two thousand dot blogspot dot com where you can see more of everything that 
we do and you can find the differences in colors that we use and things like that. I plan on getting my blog posted for the whole week because I have enough things that all week long that will be ready. Hi, where's the baby? Hi, oh, we got And then if you get your inspiration for your finishing from us, tag us and tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects and... Oh, whoever won this one is going to get a nice <laughs> licking from cash. <laughs> so, okay. Um, is that it? What are they answering? Oh, yes. Right. So be a subscriber, like the video. And then what question we want you to answer is who's your favorite designer? And if Ooh. you have more than one. There's no right or wrong answer. You mm -hmm. need. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, we just like to see what yes. you're stitching. And it's nice to give the designers a shout out. We yep. had the stores last hey, week or the week hi, before, guys. right? When did we do the stores? Was this that last week? week? Yeah. Yes. So week. designers are this week. So let us know your favorite designer and stand up. Stand up. Show everybody can't how big read, you are. Wait to read all your comments. But we're ready to travel on Monday and we're excited and we might have some exciting news. So we, we will. Yeah. Oh. I'm having a baby. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Congratulations! <laughs> it's a dingleberry. <laughs> <laughs> funny today. Anyway, <laughs> and we love to read all your comments about the yard sauce. So. All the people making the yard sauce. Mm -hmm. I lost the remote. Oh, no, right here. It's okay. All right, so we did giveaways. The question you're going to answer today is who's, who's your, your favorite, favorite designer? designer? You know, the people that you wait for, the charts to come out. You can't wait. Um, again, we'll be doing our video from the cabins on. Saturday, so you'll see that posted hopefully before we get to the airport and everything because we yeah, leave Saturday. Da, 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 da. Yes, we're right. gonna we're gonna have to do our video on Friday because Saturday morning we're leaving for the airport, so it'll be done on <coughs> Friday. So if you have a question or a comment that you want to make sure is included, do it by Friday. Yep, Friday morning. Friday morning. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we will see you next week. Make sure you. Uh, Follow us on Instagram and Facebook so you can see all the updates from, mm -hmm. we plan to do updates every now and then from the retreat. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait. We're very We're excited. excited. Yes. We're excited to so. meet all of you. A lot of you have put in the comments that you're coming and mm -hmm. we can't wait for that. Yeah, all right. Can you tell them goodbye? Say goodbye. bye. Can you blow them a kiss? Mwah. Mwah. Blow them a kiss. Oh, he had his first black eye last week. And blow I him was a, kiss. a mess. Blow him a kiss. You, you had it all kiss. over there. Oh, he, he can do it. He's just shy. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see. Oh, God. Oh, God. His butt cheeks. <laughs> we will see you next week. Bye.